Hey, Joe here on my way to work, and I'm gonna answer a question for you today. Today's question is, what's the difference between a $200 gun and a $800 gun, uh, besides the obvious, the price? Um, folks, the easiest way I can explain this is buy the best first, it's cheaper. I'm not saying you have to spend $800 either for the best, but do not buy the cheapest quality gun that you can find, because in a short period of time, you're basically gonna be throwing that gun away or putting it in the safe in the drawer somewhere and never touching it again and going out and buying something better for several reasons with that. Um, first, it's probably not gonna work over time. At some point in time, it's gonna break because they're using cheap quality materials to make that gun. Now, again, what do I mean by that? Look at a decent gun out there, uh, a Glock and FN, especially FNs, their barrels are gonna be 200 bucks. Uh, not the whole gun, I mean, Come on, there's something wrong with that gun that you're buying for $200. You look at some of these really less expensive guns out there on the market, you have the uh, High Points, uh, Himernez and stuff like that. Those are guns that dealers are buying for just over a hundred bucks. They take them to a gun show and they sell them for $169 and $229. That's a hell of a profit margin for them. And let's face it, folks, buy them. A lot of people will never even shoot them. And they think they got a great gun that's gonna work. Folks, you don't know. You bought the cheapest thing out there. You know, if I'm using a gun for personal protection, I don't want it's gonna go bang all the time. Not sometimes, not maybe, not I hope it goes bang, something's gonna go bang every single time. Another thing to look for when you're buying a gun that's gonna cost you a little bit more is it's a popular gun and it's a name brand gun. You can be able to find parts for it. If something breaks on that gun, anything, you can be able to find a gunsmith and parts to be able to fix it and it's not gonna cost you a fortune. Uh, when I say stick with popular, it's easier to find things like holsters, sights, accessories, stuff like that for the gun, which is a big thing when you're gonna carry this gun as a concealed carry gun. So think about this, don't go just for price. Do you need to spend $800 on a great gun? Not at all. There are some great budget guns out there. Um, would I look for more than $200? Most likely. Uh, if you're looking for a good budget gun, you can look at some of the, uh, the Taurus G2Cs, the uh, Ruger LC9Es, or S's if you can still find them. Um, stuff like that, they're good, inexpensive guns. But even then you can jump up to, uh, let's say you went with a Glock 42, 43, you're looking four, 449, somewhere in that price range. Um, for just over 500 bucks, you get a great SIG. So you don't have to spend a lot to get a good gun. But I highly recommend buy a decent one, a good one right off the bat. It's gonna save you money in the long run. And again, what do I mean by that? You're gonna spend $200 today for a cheap piece of crap. Then in a couple of months, you're gonna go spend $500 for something that's actually decent. So there's $700 you invested in guns where you could have just bought the $500 one right off the bat. So hopefully that answered your question. I know it was a little confusing. I'm driving and people are driving like uh, morons this morning. But uh, folks, have a great day. If you have any more questions about this, stop in and see us. We get a little bit more detail about it and actually show you the guns and the difference in the quality. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.